Okay guys, I'm just going to show you a quick demo of a Lyric Pad. Uh, it's for Android. Uh, this is an Acer 501 10-inch tablet that I'm, I'm looking at here. It's got a uh, jelly bean on it, I think, at the moment. If that means anything to anybody out there, you'll know what it is. Okay, so Lyric Pad costs you five bucks. There is a free version. Um, but I just, after seeing what it could do, I decided to go straight for it and jump straight in, and I'm glad I did. Okay, so if I have the camera pointed at the right part. Hello everybody. Hello Stevie. Okay, so if I try and get it so that we're not getting too much of a reflection in there. We see the menu, we've got open lyric, manage lyrics, open set list, manage set lists, options, help, that was a good thing, and of course quit if you don't like using down here to quit with a good old off button. Let's see if I can spin this around. Oh no, that's even worse. Right. So, what do we do? In terms of uh, managing lyrics, to pull a lyric in, what you do is you, you set up your default uh, folders for, for uh, lyric pad to find uh, stuff in. And of course, lyric pad wouldn't be lyric pad without lyrics. So, it's usually a good idea to set up the file locations. You can see this is the default defaults here. None of you have defaults for the lyrics folder, but also for your set lists where you keep your set lists and also backing tracks. So Lyric Pad is able to play your backing tracks as well, and I'll give you a bit of a demo of that uh, as we progress. And go back. Um, what else have we got? Choose various uh, types of automation. I'll show you that too when we get to um, playing uh, lyrics and what have you. Lyric display, so I'm just running with the default display at the moment, but you can change that. And also if you want to kickstart with um, like wireless mouse or anything like that, text highlighting and yada yada yada, I haven't really uh, explored any of them. And I'm... Okay, we'll go back again. Alright, so once you've got your default folder set up, it's a case of going to manage lyrics and then you can search for lyrics which actually takes you online you can search for chords which will also go online as well uh, you can create your own lyrics so if there's a if you're not a, a cover monkey like I am then you can actually create your own rename duplicate this idiot cameraman keeps poking over here all the time um, Okay, and edit lyric. This is a handy function. And if there's a lyric that you've started that you don't like, you obviously you need to be able to trash it. And then back just takes you back to the um, previous menu. So the ones that I'm going to uh, show you here at the moment is uh, create a new lyric. No, no, I won't actually show you how to uh, create a lyric. We'll just go into edit lyrics. So. The path here is pointing to Lyric Pad Lyrics. Now if I go Edit Lyric, what it'll do, it'll show me what's currently at that path. And so we see here, I've got a whole range of tracks, which may or may not be in focus. No, they're not in focus, all right. It's having a bit of trouble. Over here we've got some scroll options to the top, scroll up, uh, one page at a time, scroll down, scroll to the end. Okay, now um, this is good if you want to just search for the odd lyric that you've imported and you decide you want to have a look at it and see how it goes. Now because we're in the edit lyric function straight away you come up with the keyboard and you've got a whole bunch of details over on the side here and you can test so what the test function does is it actually allows you to um, test things like the scrolling the metronome and so on um, haven't played around with key I don't know if that's there we go okay so if you've actually want it to uh, find the chords and change the semitones it'll let you do that 
and then this button here is to allow you to save your changes and then that just takes you back to the previous menu. If we go to details here, uh, that allows you to put the type the title in and what it will actually do is embed this into the um, into the lyric sheet in the form of a tag which then lyric pad will read back and uh, we'll show you in a sec it's all part of the uh, the meta tagging system as well for if you want to search by a particular genre um, or whatever and you'll notice you may not be able to see it clearly but we've also got duration beats per minute if we we'll go down here and go next and beats per bar and then that's where you enter the track although on this particular version I'm running 2.33 this last one doesn't work because I can't change it to an alpha and I can't uh, alpha keyboard and I can't actually navigate to the track that I want so I just have to edit that manually but so uh, you fill all of this guff out and I'll show you something that I prepared earlier okay so if we get back out of here and update that so you'll notice you may or may not see up here but I've got at exclamation mark title lonely people so what does that look like when we bring it back if we go to test do we want to save file and preview yep okay so we see there we've now got the title of the the lyrics and then who it's by yeah, italicized underneath so bold and then italics and then I'll go down here to go back and it's already saved so I'll go back now what I'll do now is I'll show you what happens with the lyric that um, I've already um, embedded a, a backing track for okay so if we go edit lyric and I'll look for boys of summer this is the only one I've set up at the moment we've got I've set up all of the details as such, Boys of Summer, Don Henley, Duration, Beats Per Minute, Beats Per Bar is 4, and then Boys of Summer is the MP3 track. Now, remember what I said earlier that I can't actually edit that. What that's done is that's actually taken that from the manual edit that I did here, which is this at exclamation mark mp3 then boys of summer and it goes directly to the um to the folder with the with the backing tracks in and looks for a, an mp3 called that and i'll show you what happens in a sec so we go go back here to get out of there and we go out of here and we go out of here because we've finished editing the lyrics now and i go open if I go to Boys of Summer, after a few seconds, you'll see down here we've got a progress bar. There's the metronome. So you see it's counting. And you'll no doubt hear it. Now what happens after a given amount of time, uh, say by the time the song's progressed to about, I never will forget these nights, it will automatically have scrolled the lyrics up the page. If I need to do that um, beforehand though, excuse me while I turn that down, and uh, you can see the progress of the song, how much time you've got left of the song. If I tap this, see it automatically scrolls. So even if you don't have uh, a song automated, this is how you stop and start the scrolling of of the lyrics. Dead easy. But I can see you, your brown skin shining in the sun. And that's enough of a demo of that because I don't normally sing it that low. Stop. Some people have uh, said that the pause doesn't work on some on their version. It might be something to do with the, the tablet they've got. I've found I'll get better results with my tablet being out of the leather envelope that I've got for it. Um, just stop that and close the song. 
Now one of the other interesting things that happens before I uh, go out of this is um, if there's a lyric which has got chords in it, I'm just trying to remember which one of these might have it. No. Okay, it doesn't doesn't have it, but I know with uh, I think uh, heartache tonight. Okay, what's happened with heartache tonight? Um, which I have actually linked. <laughs> much to my surprise, um, you see that there's a couple of. Um, oh, you may not see. Get the camera right. Lock it. Okay, there and there, it's interpreted the single letter A is the chord A. So typically when you've got um, uh, lyrics with chords in the line above in monospace type, this will actually reproduce it with the chords in colour highlighted like this in the, in the line across the top. So, um, yeah, it's, it's clever but not that clever. <laughs> At least you get the idea of how it how it works okay so now on to set lists so there's not much point of having all of these lyrics if you're not going to um, know what order that you want to um, play them in well fortunately making a set list is basically like creating a list of customized bookmarks if you like um, for opening any uh, any of your lyrics in any of the order that you determine. Now I'll open up a few set lists here. Now I've got set lists that relate to a number of CDs that I've uh, created of, of backing tracks, for example. And if I open up this one, there's well, actually uh, unusually every single one of these has uh, has got lyrics associated with it. So if I started off with Boys of Summer, what will happen is we count in and the track starts playing. If I want to go to the next track, okay, so I've gone to the next track. I don't have a backing track associated with this yet. I think I've imported it. I just haven't actually linked it up. If I tap this, then it starts scrolling the starts scrolling the screen. So that's something that's not too hard to, to do. And so on through your set list. And if I go tap that next button down, it takes me back to the set list so I can go wherever I want to. But let's say um, you want to put another want to put a text reminder in there, or if you, you know the words off by heart. Like Bob and the Bald Eagles, for example, uh, you just want to know what songs you're going to do. You just don't. You don't need to know the words. Um, you can. If I've got another, I'll see if there's another set list. One of these other ones. Here we go. Right. I don't know if it's going to come out clearly, but you'll see here. Uh, Daniel, Fields of Gold, Heart of Gold, Needle in the Damage Done. Those don't actually have a little. Uh, paper icon next to them showing that there is actually nothing associated with it or it could even be that maybe this is your own personal set list and you're not singing those particular tracks who knows it just at least you know um, in a set what you're going to be doing so there's a lot more to this that's just the as much of the surface of uh, lyric pad that I've um, I've uh, played with at the moment five bucks uh, Aussie dollars, I think it's a good buy. Certainly a lot better than counting around a whole heap of uh, pieces of paper and uh, having them all over the place. Alright, I hope you find this uh, interesting. Ta-da!